Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss how to use saturation plugins. We'll start by answering the question, what is saturation and why is it important? Saturation is the combination of soft knee compression and harmonic distortion. It's used to lessen the dynamic range of a signal while simultaneously increasing its harmonic content. This results in a fuller, more impressive sound and a greater overall loudness, whether you're mixing or mastering. So if you're looking to both gradually compress and mildly distort a signal, this is a great way to combine these effects into one. It also helps to know that there are many different types of saturation. These come from the different types of electrical components that can be saturated, like tubes, tape, transistors, transformers, and so on. These different forms of saturation introduce different harmonic formations, different points of saturation, and different knees of compression. As a result, each sounds different and amplifies different aspects of an instrument or a mix. That said, when you're using saturation, try multiple types and listen intently to see which one sounds the best. Given the complexity of saturation types and how they affect the signal, there isn't one that's always going to sound the best. When you're using a saturation plugin, how you use it is going to depend heavily on the signal that you're saturating. If you're using it on an individual instrument, you can use a saturator significantly and create intense distortion. If you're working on a master, be sure to use the saturator in a subtle way, ideally with less than 1% THD or total harmonic distortion. Let's look at three saturator plugins and discuss how to use them. Each one is great regardless of your experience with audio processing, but it might help to look at the easiest one to use first. First up, we got Saturation by Softube. Saturation by Softube really only has two functions. The first is the main dial with which you can introduce more harmonic distortion and compression. You'll notice that when you're using this plugin, the effect really increases the perceived loudness of the signal. The second function is the saturation type, which offers three settings. Keep High creates high order harmonic distortion. Neutral is both low and high order harmonic distortion. And Keep Low introduces low order harmonic distortion. And we can observe how switching between these settings introduces different harmonic formations. So when or if you use this plugin, keep in mind that these harmonics are going to form in relation to the fundamental frequency of the signal that the plugin is affecting. Let's take a listen to the plugin. Woke up to the dream I have of you. Can't stay here forever. I gotta make a move. Care to indulge a dinner party separate to I do. I'd like to date you and then I could stare into your eyes and never look back Just to see a future bright with you by my side I'm in love with the past and present you And all your tomorrows too You keep getting better and better You keep getting better and better The next plugin I want to look at is Harmonics Analog Saturation Processor by Softube. If you're looking for a slightly more complex saturator, this is a good option. With it, you can emulate multiple types of saturation, including solid state, transformer, master desk, which doesn't affect the transients, tube, and modern, which is a more modern triad tube. Now, the character dial allows you to emphasize either the low or high frequencies prior to saturation. This way, you can distort more of the low end or the high end. The dynamic section can expand or amplify transients, like the initial snap of a snare drum or the pluck of a guitar, as well as compress and amplify low-level signals. Then of course you have your drive function, which introduces harmonic distortion and soft knee compression. Like the last plugin that we looked at, you can increase this to increase the amplitude of the distortion. Furthermore, we have a low cut filter to avoid distorting low frequencies and a high cut filter to avoid distorting high frequencies and a wet dry to blend in the effect. So if you're looking to saturate an instrument, a bus, or a full mix, this is the next logical plugin to try out. Let's take a listen to it. Woke up to the dream I have of you. Can't stay here forever.
Last up is my personal favorite saturation plugin, the Saturn II, which can be used for multiband saturation, distortion, amp modeling, and stereo imaging given its mid-side capabilities. You can use it to create various forms of distortion and various degrees of compression on a band-by-band -band basis. Similar to the last plugin that we covered, you can introduce different harmonic formations with the different distortion types. You can increase the drive with the main dial and pan the drive to the left or right or the mid and side. You can also emphasize certain frequencies prior to distortion that cause more distortion to those particular frequencies. Like before, we can observe the various harmonics and notice how they vary in order and amplitude when we change the distortion type and the amount of distortion. You'll notice that this plugin creates more complex distortion than the others, which in my opinion, results in a richer sound. But what I find most impressive about this plugin is the modulation section, with which you can make almost every aspect of the plugin program dependent. In other words, you can trigger functions like the distortion, the saturation, the tone controls, and others using modulation. This way, the distortion's timbre, its ADSR, and other modulations can be related to the incoming signal and can be made to affect one another. This can get pretty complex quickly, so fortunately, this plugin shows to what extent the level of each function is being affected. And if you don't know where to start with this plugin, try using one of the presets and then observing the different filters that get created. This should provide a lot of insight as to how these filters affect the processing and how you can start to build them yourself. So let's take a listen to this plugin. Woke up to the dream I have of you. Can't stay here forever. I gotta make a move. Care to indulge a dinner party separate to I do. I like the day. Lastly, let's listen to all three of the plugins that we covered and compare them to see how they sound. Woke up to the dream I have of you. Can't stay here forever. I gotta make a move. Care to indulge? A dinner party separate two. I do. I like the day you and then. I could stare into your eyes. If you haven't already, get a free mastered sample of your song and remember to subscribe, comment, and like. It really helps us out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.